What we need to do is not treat diet-related chronic disease with drugs. We need to eliminate it by improving the quality of the food that we produce and push that money away from pharma and put it back on the farm. I'm Patrick Stover, Vice Chancellor and Dean at Texas A&M of Agriculture and Life Sciences. I grew up in Concordville, Pennsylvania. We owned about five acres. We did cultivate those five acres and we grew all of our own food. We were also very active in 4-H in the vegetable club, all eight of us children. So it was really part of our everyday life. The food we eat has been one of the most powerful modifiers of our individual genetics. But now we know that there's a big disconnect between food and people. Many people don't even know where their food comes from. The work that we do all throughout the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, all throughout all of our AgriLife Research Centers and Extension Centers, it all ends here. And that is bringing together people and bringing together people around food that supports both their physical and their mental health. I went to a small Jesuit school, St. Joe's University, where I really fell in love with chemistry. Um, but it was only later in graduate school than when I went on to get a PhD that I became interested in human nutrition and human metabolism. It was a good area to come into, though, at that time, because then we were just learning about this connection between folic acid and birth defects. This idea that some women need more folic acid and if they don't get that extra folic acid, they are at risk for having a child with a birth defect. And so based on the experience that I had in working with various governmental agencies in implementing food fortification policies, both in the U.S. and globally, to prevent birth defects, what an opportunity to come to Texas A&M and be able to think more holistically about that connection of the entire food system and people's health. What we see now is a deficit, not in the quantity of food that we produce, but in the quality of food we produce. We need to produce higher quality food that not only eliminates hunger, but nourishes people in a way that they're not susceptible to these common chronic diseases that are afflicting our society, like diabetes, like cancer, like heart disease. And that is the next challenge for agriculture. We not only have to advance the science, but we have to take that scientific evidence and we have to bring it to the policy makers and the decision makers at the national level, at the state level, at the local level, so that we can have good science, good evidence, driving decision making that's gonna benefit the profitability and the future sustainability of agriculture, but also meet those expectations of our consumers who increasingly demand so much from agriculture. We now live in a time where new technology advances are enabling us to do things that our predecessors only dreamed of. And at Texas A&M AgriLife, we are using that technology to transform agriculture and transform lives. We are Texas A&M AgriLife and we are Advancing Texas.